Hey, this is Ming Tsai from Simply Ming. I want to show you how you can cook simple, delicious, and healthy meals using a new machine here from T-Fall. It's called the ActiFry. And not only can you make savory meals, you can also make desserts. I'm going to make a really simple, kind of a uh, sautéed bananas and brown sugar with some crispy wontons. We're going to do both of them in the ActiFry. So here's some traditional wonton skins. You buy this in any Asian market. Now a lot of grocery stores have them. And we're going to do about a quarter inch. These are completely raw, right? And we're going to first crisp these up in the ActiFry, and then we're going to toss it in just a little bit of brown sh of uh, cinnamon sugar. All right, so mix these all up like this. This is what the ActiFry looks like. You don't need to preheat it. It's a very simple unit to use. You literally are going to set it and let it do its own thing. One of the most ingenious qualities about this is to get all those wonton skins crispy. I'm going to add just a little bit under one tablespoon of canola oil. All right? That's not a lot of oil. Traditionally, I'm going to mix it up. Traditionally, you would deep fry these. And when you deep fry, you're going to get a lot more oil going into them. But with this, with one tablespoon, you'll get them just as crisp and just as delicious. All right? So you just turn it on. I'm going to set this for 10 minutes. And in 10 minutes, it'll be done. All right, so after about a minute, you see how this kind of balled up a little bit. No worries, just spread it out. These are already a little bit dry. It's only because they were so soft to begin with, you have to spread them out. And now the second time, just keep it going. And you got about nine minutes left. I love this thing because there's a heat pulse technology that immediately brings this to exactly 338 degrees. So you don't need to monitor it. It's a nonstick surface. There's never going to be any scorching because at, at that temperature, there won't be. And with this paddle, it brings everything and stirs it around. So you really can just set it and walk away and not worry about it. As soon as the beeper goes off, you know you're going to have crispy wontons. Is there anything easier than that? I don't think so. As soon as you hear the beep, you know it's good to go. Let's check these out. Look at these. Look how crispy. You can hear how crispy these are, right? And you can just easily remove this for super easy cleaning. These are still nice and hot. And what I'm going to do then is have a little bit of cinnamon sugar. Just toss a little cinnamon sugar on these. And this is going to be my garnish for the dessert. All right, so we have crispy wontons for garnish. But we're going to use this a second time. Just wipe it out. Just a little bit of wonton um, skin in it. So just here, just wipe that out, and you can use it again. So this thing is great for not only just, of course, doing wonton skin. You can uh, brown meat in this. You can sauté in it. You can steam in it. You can roast in it. You can even take bananas and cook bananas, which is what we're going to do here. We're going to first add a pat of butter. So there's one pat of butter. If you don't want to do butter, no worries. Just for one minute only. All I want to do is melt the butter to coat the whole machine. A tablespoon of butter is not that much fat, guys. Not for a dessert for four people. All right, so let this go for a minute. It'll coat it nicely. So when I add these sliced bananas, they will get coated in butter as well. I'll go ahead and do one more banana here. This recipe is six bananas. Go. So after a minute, the butter is actually it's not going to brown, but it's going to cook a little bit, which is good because you're trying to get some of the water out of the butter. And by the way, you can use any oil in here. As a matter of fact, you can believe with one tablespoon of oil, canola, grapeseed, olive, whatever, you can actually make french fries. Two pounds of french fries with one tablespoon of oil will give you delicious, crispy fries. That's amazing. All right, so now it's been a minute. I'm going to take all these bananas. Hear that nice little sizzle. So that, that's at 338 degrees. Let's add some more of these bananas here. Add these all in. And now we're going to go about five minutes only. All right, so that was just five minutes total on the bananas. This is what it ends up looking like. We're going to add to this two tablespoons of brown sugar and the juice of half a lemon. 
cook it for about three more minutes. You're gonna have delicious, tasty, warm bananas with extra deep sweetness from the brown sugar and a little of tartness from the lemon. So set this for three minutes. Dessert's gonna be done. This is also great if you have children like to cook, they can help out because it's splatter free so they're not gonna get hit by any oil. All right, it's done. Let's check this out. All right, look at these bananas. Ah, oh, how good do those look? Lightly coated with brown sugar. So let's go ahead and make our dessert. And the other thing I love about this, so easy for cleanup. Everything is dishwasher safe, obviously except the unit. The lid is, the turning hand, and of course the pot itself being nonstick is dishwasher safe. So take a little of these warm bananas. Oh, look how good those look. Put this, that's Greek yogurt by the way, which I love. Makes it a very healthy, of course, vanilla ice cream would be equally delicious. But you see how easy this is? Pops right out. Super easy cleaning. And then we have just a little bit of our cinnamon crispy wonton and then toasted sesame seeds to complete the deal. There you have it, guys. Some caramelized brown sugar bananas done in an active fry with Greek yogurt and some crisp up wonton chips and cinnamon sugar. As always, peace and good eating. Funding for Simply Ming is provided by T-Fowl's Active Fry. One spoon of oil for two pounds of fries and many other meals. T-Fowl, ideas you can't live without.